Okay, Jason, you remember the controls now mm -hmm. that I told you about? Because the whole thing looks much better when I turn out the lights. Watch. Oh, wow. Oh, my hand looks like a skeleton. Yes. You're playing with a whole new art form. A really? light sculpture, yes, by Bill Parker. Hmm. And, and all kinds of weird, sort of weird, but beautiful sort of effects. And we'll work the controls that I showed you later. But right now, I think maybe we ought to understand sort of what's going on. So you stand by to turn it off over there with the switch on the right and while, as soon as I turn on the lights, okay? Sure. Okay. There. Now let's come over here where we can uh, see a little more what's going on. A lot of that is hidden in the base over there. Here is a little transformer that sends okay. out direct current, and it's going to come over here to a transformer that's going to change it to alternating current. A very high frequency, it's going to come out here and go through this, to this bulb, and I want you to hold it right next to the light bulb like that. All right. Okay? I'll turn, and then I'll, I'll turn it on, and you won't see much until I turn the lights out again. Okay. Okay, here it comes. Okay, Whoa. now what happens when the lights go out? It's okay. filling it. Well, see, you're sending very high frequency electricity through the glass, which is something like over there, but then you're also sending it through the gas inside, and there's probably nitrogen inside that light bulb, so you're making the gas glow. I see. If you hold it right there for a, for a while, the, the high energy of the electricity is strong enough to actually burn a hole in the glass. Wow. See, see if you can tell me when you've burned a hole in it by watching the uh, color of the, of the glow. There it goes. Yes. Now you see you've burned a hole in the glass, and you notice the difference in the color of the of the uh, spark on the inside? Yeah, before it was sort of a purpley blue, now it's orange. Now it's orange. We're probably adding some oxygen in there, so that's glowing as well. So that's the general idea of what's happening inside the bulb. I'll turn the lights on again. First, I'll turn that off. Okay. Now let's go back to the globe, because the same sort of thing is happening over here, except much higher frequency, up in the radio range, and also... Bill has very carefully worked out, he was a physicist who was working with various kinds of plasma and really? various kinds of radio energy, so he experimented with the kinds of light that would be produced when these high energy uh, electromagnetic waves went through various kinds of gases. So inside each one of the bulbs of these sculptures is a specific combination of very rare gases. So a different one might look different. Might look different, right. Then he also designed it so that the radio frequency can be changed in frequency, as well as, remember I told you this knob over here yeah. has the thing that makes it go on and off, sort of strobe effect. Mm -hmm. And then the other knob actually changes the amount of energy that goes into it, the power, so that you can make it go almost go off and then go on again. Wow. Then the last one, you remember what that was for? Yeah, that turns, um, makes, it look, makes it go through a cycle of different okay. patterns. So let's turn off the lights and begin to play with it. Turn it on. Okay. Now try, try the, uh, the slider that makes it sort of strobe. Sure. Okay. Take your hand away once. Keep going. There, wow. now you get a flashing effect. Okay. It's going on and on. Right. Now try the next one in which you can vary the, the, the total amount. Put that one back up so it's on. Then try, try this one over here. To, I'll do it. Okay. It's getting dimmer. Yes, it's getting dimmer. Notice there are actually three effects. One is the center. Yeah. See how you can see that? Looks like cells divided. Right. And then, then, then actually in the gas itself. And finally, when you turn it up high enough, actually on the edges of the glass, on the yeah. inside surface. Like on your hand when you yeah. touch it. Okay, now push the last button. Ooh, looks like a little plant in yes, there or something. Here's the microprocessor now gradually changing the whole, uh, all of the settings so that it will constantly change over a whole five minute period wow. so that you could have this sitting in the corner of the room and every time you looked at it, it would have a different whole pattern. That'd be neat. Yeah. So here's a physicist who combined high energy physics and plasma and glowing of, of gas with a whole new art form. A lot of fun.